Hey, what's up, y'all? What's cracking with Poppin' SD? About to react to this honest business title. What's next for Katy Perry? People drag this woman through the mud, and I don't agree. <laughs> All right? I reacted to her album, 143, over on my Patreon, and I gave my thoughts. I don't need to go over what I said again, but in short, I think people are a bit too a bit too hard on, on, on Miss Katy Perry. Um, but yeah, I guess he's gonna discuss what he thinks she should do from here or what she's planning to do from here. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so let's hear what he has to say. What is next for Katy Perry? Asking what's next for an established pop star with years of experience is not the usual question, but it's one that many can't help but to wonder given her circumstances. Her album 143 is the worst received album of her career. At the time of this video on Metacritic, it is the lowest yeah, rated album of Perry's career, the ninth lowest rated album ever, and the lowest female album of all time on the website. Some haters, bro. The album pretty much received <laughs> unanimous negative reception from both music yeah. audiences. To be fair, I'm not a pop girly, okay? <laughs> I don't know shit about pop. But there, listen, my, listen. So, I would like to compare this to people who don't listen to rap like that. They might think, I don't know, not a little pump, that was terrible <laughs> comparison. But somebody like, uh, I don't know, they might listen to certain rap songs and I'm like, this is so bad or this is so corny. And they like, yes, this is, no, this is a bop because they don't really listen to rap like that. So, um, just like uh, Lollipop, somebody gave the great example a while ago that how I feel about Lollipop for Lil Wayne is how some people feel about some of the pop songs I like. <laughs> Cause I like, I feel like I like very generic uh, pop music. Um, and you know, I've been very vocal about how I think Lollipop is one of Lil Wayne's worst songs. Like I hate that song. Um, like I hate it when I'm out and I hear it, which isn't even often, I get like uncomfortable and irritated. <laughs> I hate that song. Um, so yeah, some people are just like, what are you talking about? That's a great song. And it's like, I don't, you, I don't think you really listen to rap if you're saying that. Even if you like, yes, I do. I, I, I don't believe you. <laughs> because anyway, so I think that is how people who really listen to pop feel about this album. They feel like it is too generic. Uh, but anyway. Critics. Rarely has an album in its rollout been disastrous to this magnitude. It easily calls upon thoughts of Jennifer Lopez's recent train wreck of an album and movie, This Is Me Now where similar reception was leveraged against J-Lo for being stuck in a time loop and failing to recapture her glory days while desperately coming across as if she wants to. But even Jennifer Lopez's album wasn't as bad as Katie's. Sure, it's no great album, but there is a genuine earnestness on J-Lo's This Is Me Now. You can feel that she was in love while making that album, that she believes in her love. Even if it comes across as a bit performative, there is a heart there. Obviously, there are other areas where the album falls short, but once again, emotion is there. Emotion by itself is not something people really hyper-analyze when it comes to music, because it's intuitive to all of us as human beings. We know when a song is melancholic, we know when it's setting the mood to be happy. Similarly, I think you can typically tell in the way the artist performs the song, which is why when it's missing from music, it's so apparent and see-through, which is one of the factors that led to Katie's disastrous era. She sounds phoned in, the beats sound awful, dated, uninspired. Mm. Every negative adjective that I can think of. Dang. Even if Katie chose to lead with the most basic, most brain dead lyrics, the least she could have done is make sure the production was brilliant. But it literally delivers on zero aspect. Not the production, not the writing, not the vocal performances, not the hooks, it's nothing. Like the album is literally nothing. When me and other people say it feels AI generated and completely soulless, it's not an exaggeration, and I actually do think the panning this album got is well-deserved, because I really do feel it's that bad. Damn. It's not just generic, it's so devoid of personality in general that it is bad. I almost felt bad for Katy Perry because she's had three consecutive badly received records, and she just can't seem to get it right, even when she has the pathway laid out for her. But the reality is, Katy Perry as an artist is not a victim of the public, she's not a victim of these reviews, she is a victim of herself. She had the stage set for her. All the controversy was self-inflicted and stemmed from her lack of ability to read the room. 
I'm a staunch believer in you put the music out for public consumption, people can receive it, hate it, love it, however they choose to. Thanks. The most interesting thing is there's not an outside narrative existing for Katie. There's no creative infighting, there's no celebrity scandal, there's no big messy love story. The controversy she faces exists purely because of her art and the choices she makes with it, mm. which I say is rare in Carrillo so instances like this. She doesn't necessarily have an outside narrative to fight against. The narrative is herself and her art. And to me, it honestly feels like Katie, one, either lost her pulse on pop culture, or two, thinks her audience is stupid. Because to me, I genuinely think that album was an insult to pop music fans' intelligence. Ooh. Like, do you think that the way to restore your interest is giving us something that is just so completely empty? This album definitely felt like an attempt to capture the TikTok generation. But I feel like if Katie was actually in touch but with- But does everything need to have substance? Some things you want to listen to and turn your brain off and you want it to be just basic. Because, you know, I'm talking shit about that Wayne song, but I listen to bad rap too bad you know i listen to basic rap i listen to deep rap i listen to you know substance i listen to you know basic shit so uh, i mean does that need to be the requirement for everything everything like what's wrong with having a feel good fun you know album pop culture like many of her peers are she would have known that the music that was served was not the way to it I, I didn't know he was dragging her more in here. I thought you said, what's next? <laughs> Witness was a simmering album. Like, it wasn't as hot as her past work. The rollout to the album was also disastrous. And it's definitely an uneven album. But it's undeniably Katy Perry. And still has some listenable songs. On the other hand, Smile was outright boring. But it had some real highlights and definitely felt natural to Katy Perry. 143 is like if you get the rollout of Witness and the blandness of Smile's music to the umpteenth degree. And what makes it even worse is that in this era where we are seeing some of the people that Prime Katie inspired pop off and doing playful pop extremely well, it makes her comparatively feel very out of touch. And take into account that we're also in an era where so many of her peers and artists of her I time have her. received a resurgence <laughs> or career renaissance. Well, when he puts it like that, it's like, I, I get it. But I mean, there are different levels of playfulness. People do different they do shit differently. So it doesn't have to look like a Katy Perry or a Cha Cha album. What's her name again? I don't know I'm talking about that lady he showed. Um, so yeah, this is playful for her. Whether that be Gaga, Taylor, Beyonce, or Rihanna, they've all had these big critical or commercial moments over the past few years. And it's like, why is Katy the only one that can't get it right? Even I like her album better than Taylor. That's my play. Time of this video. That album knows is what horrible. a decent modern pop song is supposed to sound like, even if it's radio pop. And if we're being completely honest, Katie should have been had her big detour moment by now. Except I'm, not sure I'm gonna why get you she back. She's on like trend chasing in the most overt ways because it hasn't been paying off. Where's Katie's folklore? Where's her anti? Where's her lemonade? Where is her plastic hearts? Where's her ray of light? Something that just genuinely ships Katy Perry as an artist. I mean, Honestly, I thought that yeah, Witness fair. was her gateway into being a more creative But I don't know her, her discography, But it just feels like she just continues so to characterize he clearly and cannibalize her herself music, her until catalog, there's well. nothing left, which results in one for three. You know, even someone like Kesha, who was comparatively yeah. even more of a caricature in her prime, has gone on to take some real artistic risk and mature mm -hmm. her work in the second leg of her career. Realistically, I think this album should have been scrapped mm -hmm. after Woman's World. It's not uncommon for pop stars to release a single that isn't all that well received or doesn't yield the results that they want and be like, okay, I'm going back to the drawing I board. did not know for he was example, about to keep dragging Ariana thing, Grande man. did this with Focus. Camila Cabello did this with Crying in the Club. Rihanna did this with Four or Five Seconds and Bitch Better Have My Money. The overwhelmingly negative reception to Woman's World should have been an indicator. Maybe this yeah, is not the right direction to go. And the fact that this album has such a large and prolific team done on every single song is insane. It's different when a lot of people have worked on the album and you can hear it in the quality, like on Beyonce's Renaissance. That is not the case for Katie. The fact that so many people greenlit this album, including the label, is insane. And she has a deluxe version of this album coming out. And I would say bad idea, mm -hmm. take this album behind the barn and off it as they say. Oh. But she probably has to recoup the money and losses from mm -hmm. this era, so it makes sense. I'm not sure Katie will retreat after this album and pull back from releasing music. I wouldn't say it's a bad idea, but I would hate for Katy Perry to leave on this note. 
Personally, I would like to see Katy Perry do something ballsy. I'd like to see her have her big detour moment. Something that's new for her, but good, interesting, and matures her as an artist. Yeah, this album but is I'm very just not so sure at this point, given her last releases, that Katy has the first to make pop such a move and make it good as well. And even if the big artistic jump where the pop star, you know, takes a backseat to the art isn't her thing, just some genuine quality pop music would service her well. It's almost hard to believe that the woman that made songs like The One That Got Away, Teenage Dream, and Hot and Cold has regressed so extensively. It's very disappointing because it's like you were the underdog for a minute. You can't even prove that you were worthy of being the underdog. Like a woman who made songs that defined a decade can barely make a listenable song nowadays. It's honestly and truly pathetic. Damn. I'm not sure if Barry can come back from this. She's had three strikes. And you all know the rule. Three strikes and you're out. And I feel like oh. this is a new precedent of progression for a pop star. Damn. Three consecutively poorly received albums back to back. And what's crazy is the last one happens to be her worst offense yet. One for three makes Smile and Wait to sound like masterpieces. Oh. I will say that I don't think coming back as a massive pop star me. should be Katie's goal if she intends on releasing another record. You cannot force your glory days, especially while making music totally inferior to your glory days. The quality, the production, the heart should be the focus Her if she decides to release another record. And what will be, will be. Teenage Dream Roar especially. Listen, one of my favorite pop songs of all time. All right. Um, I can't think her. Yeah, she got a lot of bops, so mm, I can't I can't lie. He is telling the truth um, with that. But damn, how many times we going to drag this woman? <laughs> Uh, you know, he said what's next for Katie. I don't know if he's about to go in on her even further. She she must listen to this album again and got even more mad and was like, let me drag her again. <laughs> let me make another video and talk more shit again. Um, hmm. I do feel him because let's say Beyonce, for example, started releasing albums that I feel like was not the best. I would be talking shit and be like, girl, what the fuck is you doing? Where are we going with this? Because even with Renaissance, although I initially didn't like it that much, and it's still my least favorite Beyonce album, um, I still could, you know, respect the uh, the risk that she took on that album. Like, I feel like she took a risk because that wasn't her typical sound. Um, and she, you know, was pushing the envelope and giving us something different and uh, the songs were not bad. They just were not my taste. But when I, after I went to the concert, I did start liking a few. <laughs> just after seeing her perform them. Uh, but, yeah, I've never felt like Beyonce was, like, getting worse of anything. I feel like her music has gotten better overall um, over the years. So, yeah, if she started pulling some shit like this and start releasing some super-duper basic R&B music, um, I, would, I would be talking shit. So... I feel like I just don't have experience with pop music enough to uh, to complain, <laughs> especially Katy Perry specifically. I'm not even that familiar with her catalog other than like the super duper popular songs. So I can't even really critique um, her properly. I mean, I can't recognize though that those other songs are way better. But, yeah, I mean, overall, listen, I listen to some of these songs. I like them. <laughs> All right, they're generic, but I, I fuck with, with some of them. So, there's that. People hate it, apparently. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Do y'all hate this album? Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!